Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dean. If you're new here, hi, how are you? Hope you guys are having a beautiful, beautiful day. What up, peeps? We heading into another episode of South, South Park. Park. We're heading to Colorado. Season 7, episode 7. What is it called? Red Man's Dead. Are they going mm -hmm. off the video game is my question, or are we going off a movie? I don't know neither. I'm thinking so. about Red Dead Redemption. Yes, we about to find out. Wow, dude. Man, Indians have it good, huh? Welcome to the Three Feathers Casino. I am your host, Chief Runs with Premise. I am afraid miners cannot go onto the casino floor. I'm not a miner, dummy. A shovel in my hand? Why don't you kids run along to the comedy club? Welcome to the blackjack table. May luck run through you like the spirit of the buffalo. Well, I don't want to play here. Yeah, come on, Sheila. Let's go to the nickel slots. All right, time to show these people how to gamble. What is Native American comedy, anyway? Thank you. May I please... Have a drink. That, so disrespectful. That's so disrespectful on a whole other level. Like, the joke, I was already like, okay, where are we going? But the laugh, they didn't have to add the little... The chant. They did. They did. <laughs> Coyote said to Pony, why can you not yell yourself? A little horse, the voice, you get it? I'm down 26000 <laughs> Well, maybe we should... Wait, $26,000? <laughs> have to win it back before Sheila finds out. Where did you get that kind of money? The dealer 21. Sorry. That's it. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Thank you for playing at Three Feathers. How do I tell them that tomorrow we have to pack up our things and get out of the house? This place sucks. I want to go. What? What did you say? I said I want to leave. When we get home, we'll just pack up our things, load them in the car, and we'll leave. Gerald, what are you talking about? Oh, you heard him, Sheila. Kyle wants to leave. Oh. Yeah, he shouldn't be such a dick, dude. <laughs> don't the Native Americans know he has nowhere else to go? They don't care. Their crash flows out of them like diarrhea from the buffalo. It is time for us to implement our plan. A super highway. We buy it, and we demolish it. The town of South Park is going to be leveled in order to make way for a 12-lane superhighway. Tomorrow, they're buying the last of what they need to have complete ownership. Well, can't we stop them? It isn't all horrible. The Native Americans are offering you retail values on your homes. How, How much do we have it? to raise, Mayor? $300,000. Wow. That changed so quick. Ooh, ooh, oh. That's me, though. Isn't yeah. that one house, though? What do we name the price? Ooh. Isn't oh. that one house? I don't know how much it's South Park. I don't know what they're charging for. Like, it depends on the economy, where we at, who in the presidency. It just all, oh, you know, you just never know. But I'm not. Oh, you know what? Let them take it. Let them go ahead and take it. How can they make us all move away? Hmm. Because they're rich, greedy Indians. Native Americans. Yeah, so many great times. Yeah. No. We can't let them do it, you guys. We have to find a way to stop those Native Americans. Yeah, we're a team. We just have to figure out a way to raise $300,000. And then start a charity organization that we steal money from. No. Come on, let's go. We need something that will get us money tomorrow. Hey, hello. How about a dog parade? How do we make $300,000 doing that? Oh, well, well we could sell tickets. Maybe we get the give money. Kyle AIDS, huh? Looking a little better now. <laughs> I'm saying it like three hundred thousand. He's coming up with another day, like. But that, I just but, thought if they sold one house, it's like okay, boom. At least they but, got some type of ideas. Whose know. house is the first house going down? Who's this, Kyle? Butters. It looks like Butters. They all look the same kind of. You no, know. you gotta look at the numbers. I know. I don't know the numbers. I was gonna say oh, that. I, I don't do. know the numbers by heart. I do. There's more to life than profits. No, it ain't. Like what? Well, mm. come on, honey. I guess we should start packing up our things as well. Dan, we've all tried to raise money, but we only raised ten thousand dollars. Tell them, Kyle. The odds on a single number in roulette are 35 to 1. Look, we, we've got nothing to oh, lose. You know. What do you guys think? It's a long shot. It's the residents work. of South Park had hoped to raise $300,000. Oh, I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> Good luck. Oh. It's in God's hands now. It's so dramatic. Technically, it's in your hands, but... Okay. It's so dramatic. That's how I feel when I walk into the gamble. When I went, that's how I felt. But now they come out like that, y'all. I didn't. I came out and lost he everything. He got cut off real quick. I lost everything. I lost it all. So I understand. I understand. You didn't lose it all. I almost did. I almost put everything up. We're gonna try to beat you at your own game, Chief Runs with Premise. Oh, everybody looking now. The chances are hit, man. I can do it. No way. Ah! Oh, Word! This is amazing! Oh, we did it! No! That means if we won again, it would be 12 and a quarter million. No. Get him out. No. They're going to lose it all. You lose. What does that mean? Lose everything? They really let him hype them up into betting on the same number 
and the chances of hitting is slim to none. And y'all bet on the same number. Oh, and now y'all lost it all. Y'all had your homes back See. and an extra 50000 that y'all could have split amongst each other. And still, when they're greedy. Mm -hmm. Totally had it. You had enough to save the town and then some. Stan, and you blew it. Okay. A winning streak? You played one game. Stan, okay. What? All right. And we may have pie in the sky dreams once in a while, but we aren't the ones kicking people out of their homes. There you are, sir. There's the check for your home. Just sign here. And How much here. is it? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dad, what are you doing? Don't take their dirty money. There you go. Have a nice day. Can we know? Come on, you guys. This is our Can town. we know? When the Indians come to Tampa Town, we kick them in the nuts. Ooh. Yeah, they don't own our town. Move to the next town over. Oh, sure. Until the Native Americans decide they want that land, too. Ugh, forget it. Come on, you guys. You're out of budget, guys. Pussy. <laughs> Get out of our way! We grew up here. Our parents grew up here. We shop at that Walmart and eat at that Chili's. Well, your way of life is about to change, little boys. Now move! Who's that? We are strong! We are strong! All of us knowing. Damn it! I thought you said they were dealt with. They were! Sorry, Charlie! That's all it took? This isn't over! You bastards! Yeah, South Park is ours. But what do we do now? What is the state of our people? Last night I spoke with the spirit of the bear. And Eagle says the cumulative shared market loss on the revenue of the new casino drops 15%. And the spirit of the wind has stated that if we use force, it could be a publicity nightmare. We're going to give them blankets. Is that the blankets are infected with SARS? Okay, bring them in. Everyone grab a Chinese person and rub them on a blanket. I'm so confused. I'm thinking what they're doing because most viruses, they always say, come from somebody else. Like when COVID came around, they said like another race brought it in here. I, I when Ebola know. came around, it was the Africans. Like it's from somebody. I think that's where the joke is going. Like uh, that's disrespectful on a whole nother level. Mm. The disrespect in South Park is just getting real. The temperature is low, but spirits stuff. are pretty low too. Free blanket? No. Will you not take this offering as a gesture of goodwill? No. I'm good. Um, it now looks as if the Native Americans are handing out blankets as a sign of goodwill towards the South Park Don't people. You understand if I'm a little wary of trusting you. It is only a blanket, Mr. Marsh. It's Tuesday morning now, and the outbreak of SARS in South Park has reached epic proportions. It appears this town and this reporter are done for. Beer? It's all right, Dad. How's your mother? She's hanging in there. There's only a 98% chance that I will live. No, Dad, no! Listen, Stan. Oh, my gosh. 2% <laughs> chance he could die, 98%. There's still a chance. There's still a chance. Their numbers are not working 2 with them. 2%. But the numbers are not working with There's them. still a chance. 2% is still a chance. It's slim, but it's still a chance. What can I do? You must find a cure for SARS, son. Seek out the wise men in Bellow Creek. Now go. Go! What? Hey, my name's Stan, and I was... Your coming was foretold to me. I am just a guide. Sit down. You must find the answer yourself. Breathe. Breathe from the bag of visions. Don't. No, don't breathe from that bag. How much longer must we wait for our super highway? SARS has spread throughout the entire town of South Park. What is the matter, wife? It is our son. Prem is running thin. He is very sick. He has SARS. No! I told you not to touch them! Papa! This would not have happened if those town people would have just moved away! No more waiting around! Dad! Dad! Stanley! Did you have an inward journey with the old man? Campbell's chicken noodle soup, Dayquil, and Sprite. Yes. Yes, of course. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Campbell's is by far the worst soup. I did yeah, look it, don't come for me, but I'm just being honest. When I see those Campbell's commercials as a kid, I just think like, man, Campbell's soup. And then I finally got some of the chicken. Just high sodium, just not great. Not good at all. My mom used to give it to us when we were six. I know I had it a few times. But then the grandmas came in, you know, the grandparents. They make the homemade yeah, stuff. Yeah, they, the they make the homemade stuff. Then you taste that, it's like, I can't eat that stuff out the can no more. And then my parents won't get mad because I was bougie. It wasn't me. It was the grandparents. Mm -hmm. Don't give me homemade stuff. And then you want me to go back to this canned stuff. It ain't the same. It ain't the same. But Campbell's, yeah, it's not it. Then they came out with the little sip ones. 
Did you ever oh, get the yeah. sip ones? No, I never had it, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I thought I was the ugh. It was I never had the sip one. The clam chowder tasted like cat food. Ugh. I would not trust clam chowder in a can. No, they had some. That was your mistake. They had some. I thought we were kind of sort of not really done for. Thanks to you, we're all safe now, Stan. They're fine. What the? Wait a minute. Stop! They're better. Stop! My son, premise running thin has the SARS as well. You... You can cure him? But oh. your people's remedy brings the spirit of the buffalo back into it. Really? Heart. You have cured premise running thin. In return, I shall give you all $5 credit. $5? You know, give me my remedies back. Give me my remedies. Man. $5? I'm going to do with that. Nickel machine? I'm collecting all my remedies. Give me this Sprite, soup, and... Dayquil. I'm gone. Who are you? Dude, who the hell are you? <laughs> right? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Literally. Hi, Hi, Dad. Hi, Joe. He came for his right quick moment. I'm like, who are you? He came for a quick moment to get you some shine. You don't shine. belong here. Let him get his moment. No. Let him get his you moment. don't belong here. Good episode. This was a good episode. This Another was a good, good episode. One. A little disrespectful, but none, none right. it's, it's not But expected. I thought only thing. It's not non-expected from South Park. Only thing it's I South thought Park. was they would have substituted the ginger for ginger ale instead of Sprite. But Sprite was the go-to before yeah, ginger ale became popular, though. The ginger ale was like if you if you had that money, money. That yeah, was that Sprite good was the go-to, though. Get some Sprite. Sprite was a cheap version. You had ginger ale was the bougie, bougie you had the version. Go get some of that Sprite. We'll get you some Sprite. I don't know what was that Sprite that was supposed to save your... McDonald's Sprite might have saved your life, though. As much carbonation as that thing Yeah, that might have saved your life. That McDonald's Sprite might have got you back. But right. this was a great episode. Let us know what you guys thought about it down below in the comment section. If you guys ever been to the casino, let us know how much you guys have racked up. Yes. And lost. Let us know. It's okay. We've all been there. I can't say I have, but he has. Definitely been But there. I was there with him. So technically, I have been. But I ain't going back. But let us know. Also, don't forget, I do have a Patreon for full episodes if you guys want to head that way. Until next time, guys.